Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee, and today I will be showing you how to use actions in Adobe Illustrator to speed up your workflow or your export process. Today we are looking at this beautiful Becky's Graphic Design logo, and let's pretend that Becky has asked me to export this logo in several different formats. Maybe we need it as an EPS, a PDF, a PNG, and a JPEG. For the sake of the argument, I will go ahead and open up several other documents. I have many variations of the Becky's Graphic Design logo now open, and I need to export them each as an EPS, a PDF, a JPEG, and a PNG. Now I could do this one at a time in this fashion. I could save as a PDF and go ahead and export that and save it and go through the PDF options. And then I could do another save as and save it as an EPS now. Save that, go through the options for there. Now I can export it as a JPEG. I'm going to tell it to use the artboard because I want it to retain its white space around the edges. I want that to be an RGB JPEG. I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to tell it to export as a PNG, and I do not want the PNG to use the artboard. I'm going to export that, and I want it to be a special JPNG with 360 PPI. And I also want it to have a transparent background. Okay, so that probably took me about 30 seconds there to export the files just for this one single document. If you have to do this for any more than 10 documents, it's going to start to become unbearable. Luckily, we can utilize Adobe Illustrator's Actions panel to help us out. So I'll show you how to use that. First, you need to navigate to Window and then drop down simply to this one called Actions. I'm going to pull that over here where we can see it. So Adobe Illustrator actions are very similar to running an automated batch in Photoshop, if you're familiar with that. Simply what we're going to be doing is recording what we do. Illustrator will take note of it, and then it will be able to replicate what we're doing automatically for us. So when we want to start a new action, what you will do is go down here to this little button that says create new action. Make sure you name your action something that is identifiable so you can come back to it later and you know what it does. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to simply name this one in the fashion of telling me what it does. So it's going to export an EPS, a PDF, a PNG, and a JPEG. Now I'm going to click record and I'm going to run through and do everything that I want it to do for me. So I'm going to click record and now I'm going to go to file, save as, tell it to export that EPS. Okay. I'm going to save as PDF. And here it is important that you make sure you have your settings where you want them to be. Do you need marks and bleeds? Do you need any sort of color conversion output? I'm just going to leave this at default for now. I'm going to save that PDF. And as I'm doing each of those items, Illustrator is recording them here. It's recording that I saved that EPS and that I saved that PDF. Let's continue. I'm going to export the PNG. I'm going to click Export. And lastly, let's export our JPEG. I'm going to tell it to use Artboard. And I want it to be RGB. Now the next thing is I want to close this document when I'm finished doing all of these exports. So I'm going to go to File, Close, 
And now I'm going to go down to the square button to tell it to stop the playing or recording. If you open up any of these tabs and double click on them, it gives you the option to edit that particular phase of the action. Unfortunately, there is no way to make Illustrator save the action item in the current folder. It has to go to the same place. What I have done on my machine is I make a folder on my desktop called AI export location. And I'm going to tell that these items to go there. So I always know where they end up. I'm going to save that. And I'm just going to edit each part of this action to go there. I could have done this beforehand, but for the sake of showing how to edit, I will do it now. Desktop, AI export location, save. Navigate to the AI export location and save. Now let's say I decided I no longer wanted this to be exported at 360 PPI. I can change it to 300 and go on my way. And the last one here, I'm going to change this to the AI export location. And I want it to use that artboard, so I'm going to make sure that this is checked here. And I want to make sure that my JPEG options remain with RGB. Hit OK. And there we are. Now here comes the fun part. Let's click on the action that we created. And we're going to hit this play button down here. Illustrator is now quickly going to run through and export and save each of those uh, files as we ordered it to. Now all I have to do is keep clicking this play button as each file runs through, saves the outputs that I need, and then closes itself. Now if I navigate to my AI export location folder, here are all of those documents exported out for me in under 30 seconds, which is much better than 30 seconds per each file. Adobe Illustrator Actions can be used for other things other than exporting files. Um, I know there are a lot of actions which can run filters for photographs, um, run text effects, and do other things like that. There's also a whole list of default actions that are set in Illustrator, um, but most of the time I simply use this for file exporting. Okay guys, I hope that helped. Um, if this video helped you out, let us know in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like to know about Adobe Illustrator, also let me know below in the comments. And go ahead and like and subscribe. It really helps us out. All right, guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.